So in my last career mode video, I asked you guys if you would like me to upload a video talking about Luis Suarez. Now, you'll know he's in the news quite a lot at the moment from the World Cup, and that is, of course, because he has gone and bitten another player in his career. For a third time, he has now assaulted a player by biting them. Yes, you heard me correctly. Biting. Yeah, like like toddlers. <laughs> um, so what I wanted to do was talk about the ban that he's received. If you didn't know, breaking news this afternoon is that Luis Suarez has been banned for nine games internationally and four months of football activity in general. Probably not enough, if you ask me. We're going to get more into it in the um, in the video. And also, I'll be showing you pictures of what's happened in his career in terms of biting players, because there might be a few people who haven't seen them. So he bit a player while he was at Ajax. He bit a player um, when he was playing against Chelsea. He bit Branislav Ivanovic. And now he's gone and bitten Chiellini of Italy. It's an absolute joke, some of the pictures you'll see. Um, now, the picture that you're seeing now, people are saying is photoshopped. It's absolutely not. This picture itself is from the BBC coverage. I doubt they would show a photoshopped image. And also, it's from the actual video itself. It's just screen capped. So, it's absolutely true. This is exactly what Luis Suarez did to Chiellini that game. And he lunged at the poor bastard. It's, it's, an ap it's, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It really is. So I wanted to do a video and talk about this because it's widely discouraged, okay, that you should not assault players in football, let alone bite. And the comparison I wanted to make was, if I was to do this in real life, let's say I worked for McDonald's, okay, I was so angry at someone who was ordering food, I decided to bite them. The first attempt, I would definitely be arrested, it would be assault, I would get a criminal record, and I'd probably get some sort of community service. Um, you know, I don't think I'd go to jail for the first attempt. Um, it wouldn't be jail time, but I'm pretty sure I would get a hefty fine and, yeah, a criminal record. The second time, I think it's quite possible that you could get a couple of, day, couple of days in jail. Um, you would definitely get community service, definitely get some fines, and a huge warning that if you did this again, it's jail time, you know, a really nice amount. I, I forgot to mention the first time I'd be fired, by the way. The first time of biting someone, you'd be fired on the spot by your boss, just saying. Second time, God, you wouldn't be able to get a job anywhere. But third time, it's definite jail time, a massive fine, community service, and you would never get a job again. So I, I'm just saying, because he's a footballer, it's okay. Basically, if you're, you know, like Luis Suarez, you've been racist, you've bitten people three times, um... You're, you're basically okay as long as you're a professional footballer, guys. So if you're out there and you want to bite some people, just make sure you're a professional footballer first because then it's okay. So what do I think should have happened to Luis Suarez? Well, they've done it, basically. He should be banned from the World Cup, so he is now missing from the rest of those games. He's got obviously nine games banned. Um, I would then ban him from the Premier League for, I think, up to six months. I, I'd say... January should be when he can play again. So I'd ban him for six months, half the season. And I would also, I know this sounds really harsh, but I would terminate his contract if I was Liverpool. I would say, that is it. You've breached your contract three times now. You know, footballer contracts are quite basic in terms of there will be some sort of, you know, you must not assault players and tarnish our reputation in there. He's done it three times. And it's not just from assault, from biting people. It's all the diving, all the controversy like that the racism towards Evra, and he's done it so many times now that Liverpool, I think they're running out of options. They've tried so hard to get behind Luis Suarez, and each time it's gotten harder and harder and harder. In the last World Cup, he did that handball against Ghana, which obviously, um, you know, the goal was going in, or well, the ball was going in, he handballed it, got a red card, and then they missed the penalty, and Uruguay went through. Now, everyone said... There was actually mixed opinions. Some people said, I would have done the same, so I don't blame him. But then there's people like me who are of the opinion that it's it's just cheating. It's not fair at all. I don't think I would have done that. I know it's my country on the line here, but it's cheating. That goal was going in. You shouldn't cheat. It's as simple as that. And I think, you know, it just shows that this guy is not a professional. He's absolutely not. And therefore, if I was Liverpool, I'd be terminating his contract. But... In a way, I wouldn't, because they need to make money off this guy. Luis Suarez is one of the best footballers in the world, and that is why this is such a shame. He is a fantastic player, let down by his stupid, stupid things he does on the pitch. And um, for me, they've got to shift him. Now, I know they'll want to keep him, because he scores goals, 
But now that he's banned until October, um, there has been massive interest from Barcelona recently. Real Madrid, of course, they're linked with any player in the world that's, you know, top 10. Um, I would be shifting him as soon as I can. Barcelona will take him, I'm sure. Him linking up with Messi would be devastating. And um, part, part of the deal would be, I think, Sanchez to Liverpool, although I have heard he wants to go to Arsenal. I don't know how that's going to go. But for me, Liverpool has got to go. No one wants him in the Premier League anymore except from the Liverpool fans and the odd person who just enjoys watching him play and doesn't care about his antics on the field. For me, it's not good enough. Three times, you're out. It's as simple as that. The first time, yeah, OK, he, he, it wasn't in the, in the English League, but um, I think you can look past it and say it was just a freak of nature. He lost it completely and just, you know, he wasn't acting right. The second time, you've got to say to him, look, that is it now. One more time and that is it. You're out. And he's done it again on the biggest, in, in, in the biggest event in the world, the World Cup, watched by billions of people. He's gone and done it there, tarnishing Liverpool's reputation. So I don't think they're going to release him, obviously, because he's worth so much. Then they're, He's their biggest asset, and um, I'm sure they'll work around something. I, I've got a feeling he will be off. I don't think he'll be playing for Liverpool next season. That's what I think anyway. So just to reiterate, guys, Luis Suarez has been banned for nine games internationally and he is not allowed to play football for four months, bringing it up to October. So he's going to miss, I think it's eight games for Liverpool. I think I read that somewhere. Three of them being, I think it's Everton, City and I think it might have been Chelsea. So some very big games that he's going to be missing. So it is, it's a decent punishment. I'm quite pleased that they've gone... Uh, to some extent, a little bit further than we were expecting. But then again, some people thought he'd be banned for a year, which I don't think was ever going to be a realistic prediction. But there you go. Um, you've heard my thoughts. I want to know your thoughts. I want this video to be a massive discussion about Suarez. So in the comments below, do you guys think this ban is long enough or harsh enough? Or do you think it should have been more? And just leave your comments. I'll be reading through them. And um, while you're reading, uh, not while you're reading, while you're watching this, I'm actually going to be working on my Schalke career mode video, which will be up next. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Please do leave a like if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.